What's up, sons? It's Blindrun with Son of a Tech once again, and I know, I know, you already released a video today, but apparently everybody is putting new processors on Geekbench. This time it's Geekbench 4, and this time the proc is the new mobile proc from AMD, the Ryzen 5 2500U APU, which is going to sport not only Ryzen, but also Vega in a one-two combo of awesomeness for an integrated graphics solution, so stick around. To start things off, let's talk about the processor. It's gonna essentially be a four core, eight thread proc. So it's gonna be along the lines of the Ryzen 5 1400 and 1500X, or somewhere in between, probably below the 1400, of course. And it's going to be clocked with a base clock of two gigahertz and a supposed yet unconfirmed clock of, or boost clock of 2.8 gigahertz. Alrighty, so for comparison's sake, I did go ahead and take the 7700HQ mobile proc from Intel, the Ryzen 5 1500X from AMD, which is their desktop version of this proc, supposedly without the APU, of course. And then we went ahead and took the old A12 9800. Now I say old, I just finished kind of testing it. It's really not that good, but this is looking way more promising. Take a look. So for the single threaded score of the Ryzen 5 2500U, we see a score of 3561, falling just short of its bigger brother without a graphics solution, the Ryzen 5 1500X. For a graphics solution, I do think, or an APU solution, I do think that this is looking pretty solid. It does still fall short to the i7-7700 HQ, but I'm sure it also falls short in price by quite a bit because it's going to be a Ryzen 5 processor. And it's really good to see an almost 10% gain in single core performance over the A12 9800. Moving on to the multi-threaded score for Geekbench 4, we see the Ryzen 5 2500U score a 9421. Now this is a little bit more disappointing and I'm not sure what exactly is going on here other than the lower or significantly lower boost clock compared to the 1500X as the 1500X does beat out the 7700 HQ with a 12,712. That being said, we are still getting really good performance gains over the A12 9800, but it's not quite scaling as good as Ryzen typically scales for cores. After a little bit more research, I did go ahead and find a score for the proc that was a little bit better on Geekbench 4, and it showed the multi-threaded at an 11,000 uh, 192. Now that does mean that it is about double that of the A12 9800, which you would expect because it does have four more threads. That being said, the scaling is still not as good as you would hope it would be, as it does have a huge like 10% gain on the single threaded score. You would expect that to scale up more than double on the A12 9800. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye out for Firestrike benchmarks. We have seen some masters of the Singularity benchmarks, which I'll leave uh, linked in the description as a source. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next Tuesday.